Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now January 3rd of 2022, and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2's finale, as well as The Bad Batch Season 2, a lot of fans have been really enjoying The Book of Boba Fett, and exactly what's to come next, such as The Mandalorian Season 3, the Kenobi TV series, Star Wars Ahsoka, I mean, there's so much at play here for 2022 and 2023. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at Mike01. If you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there, I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So we're now in a very interesting moment of the franchise, given that both Favreau and Filoni are doing everything in their power to steer Star Wars in the right direction. And I've said this before many times before, is that it's going to take at minimum three years of consistent, successful Star Wars stories to really bring things back on track and to truly convince the fans that this is the way that Star Wars is really going to be. It's going to take a lot of work, a lot of time and effort by John and Dave, but I do trust in them. I do believe that they're going to keep up with their word. So now here we are. It is the very beginning of January. And before we hit February, which is when the book of Boba Fett is slated to end, that's right around the time in which we're going to be learning a lot more about the Kenobi series right before its marketing run begins in mid to late March before it debuts sometime in May. So on top of all of this, What's really intriguing to me the most is the fact that we have The Mandalorian Season 3 right now that is filming and it's getting closer and closer to wrapping. Again, they're going to be finishing principal photography sometime in March as long as there are no delays on set or no issues behind the scenes. So far, so good. Everything is looking great so far. However, what Jon Favreau had to say about the Mandoverse, quote unquote, is actually pretty exciting and impressive. With both Disney and Lucasfilm now focused on their new Star Wars projects like Star Wars Ahsoka and the Kenobi series, both Disney and Lucasfilm are beginning to work on their other shows that have yet to be announced that will be revealed at Star Wars Celebration. Now, further is described, however, that recently Jon Favreau engaged in an interview where he was able to confirm some exciting things about the future of Star Wars. Jon Favreau went on to state that I believe what's so great about Star Wars right now is the endless opportunities that we currently have in store for the fans. Myself and Dave are doing everything that we can currently, and what we have in store for the fans is going to be truly incredible. Myself and Dave are doing incredible things that we believe are truly going to bring the franchise back to its core and what Lucas had envisioned for the post-return of the Jedi era that we are currently building. One thing that myself and Dave are going to be taking advantage of is using many of the fan favorite characters to cross paths with each other in numerous ways that are really going to be surprising to say the least. We are planning on combining characters' paths like Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano as a great example on how it all fits together into the story of Grogu. Now let me just stop right here for a second. You can see that what Jon Favreau is saying here is that that is the overall plan. That's the overall structure of Mando Season 3 is that they're going to be focusing on a lot of characters crossing paths this time. And by those characters, he's referring to the big cameos that we got in Season 2. Now, this makes sense and falls directly in line with the fact that Rosario Dawson already did some filming for a you know, particular Star Wars series that most likely was indeed The Mandalorian Season 3, as opposed to preliminary filming of the Ahsoka series. Now, we already know one thing and one thing for certain is that Rosario Dawson is going to have a role in The Mandalorian Season 3 and it's going to be bigger than that of Season 2, and it's going to set things up for the Ahsoka series. So basically, the entire roadmap of Star Wars will be explained at Star Wars Celebration this May. That's going to show us exactly what's coming out when and which shows become you know, released before or after other shows, giving you a better idea of the timeline and how everything fits together like a puzzle, right? So moving on from this, all right, John Favreau goes on to unveil that it's something that we have always wanted to do ever since we started writing The Mandalorian and what that would be like for, for a future season. We are also going to be digging up some characters from the prequels, either exploring their legacy or bringing them into the show as well. We have so many twists and turns coming, coming your way for The Mandalorian series that is going to have multiple saga-wide implications and how it really is going to add more than we know 
to the wide implications of the Skywalker saga at heart that I find to be an open opportunity of possibilities. We have many dark and light side stories that will be defined in the upcoming episodes of The Mandalorian and beyond that we really are going to create new paths for those characters like Luke Skywalker, Ahsoka, and others like Boba Fett. One character we are focused on is Grogu and how he will be utilized and how we will be utilizing that character to have a big effect on characters like Anakin, Yoda, and the entire Jedi Council. So let me just stop right here for a second. This most likely alludes to the flashback sequences that Jon Favreau is planning for The Mandalorian Season 3. We're going to get into that in just a second because that's going to be a big portion of Mando Season 3 that debuts this holiday season. The thing about Mando right now is that you can see that it's evolving, right? You can see that it's not just all about Din Jaren anymore. It's all about Grogu, Luke, Ahsoka, Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, and how it all really fits together. Basically, The Mandalorian is becoming like this new layer of Star Wars, similar to what you, you know, examine with the Solo movies. Uh, for example, we had Solo A Star Wars Story, Rogue One. Unfortunately, those movies and or that formula did not work out in the end. But that's what Lucasfilm was going for, creating that layer, right? Where the Solo films, each and every one, would have a pretty big cameo. And we saw that. Solo had Darth Maul, Rogue One had Darth Vader, so on and so forth. They're doing that exactly with the Mandalorian series by having big cameos in each and every TV show that's just gonna create the building blocks of this new Star Wars universe. So, moving on from this, all right, he goes on to say that we are also focused on what Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy is like during this post-return of the Jedi era. When we look at characters like Ahsoka, Luke, and Grogu, we thought to ourselves, how can we bring all these characters together in an exciting way? Separate from what Favreau stated, one big move by Favreau and Filoni that is being done for Mando Season 3 involves the use of several flashbacks that will be thrown into, into the season to explore Grogu's dark past during the events of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Now, Favreau took inspiration from the work he provided on the Book of Boba Fett and how that's all going to be used to tell Grogu's story further down the line. Scenes for Luke's Jedi Temple are also planned to begin filming this February, before they near wrapping the series by the end of March. Now, that's a very interesting point, is the fact that you can see that Jon Favreau, what he's doing in the Book of Boba Fett, that's going to be applied to Grogu's story, in the Mandalorian Season 3. Essentially, we're going to be getting a lot of flashbacks, a lot of flashbacks in store for the third season of Mando. And if there's one thing that Dave Filoni said about the third season that's truly exciting, is that he said that the Force is going to be very strong with this season. Points to the fact that we have Luke, Ahsoka, Grogu in there, that are all very strong Force-sensitive users. Force users, if you will. Now, that's the thing about this entire season, is that it's going to be used as the next level of the Star Wars universe and exactly how they're going to be able to branch new shows off of this season. You know, they want to really kind of use this as the big tease for the Ahsoka series, for the Mandalorian Season 4, even for the planned Luke Skywalker series that is currently dubbed as Star Wars Jedi Knight. That, to me, I think is very inspirational, and we're going to be learning a lot more about that at Celebration this year in May. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.